Let us see how we can perform aggregations within a partition or group using windowing or analytics functions. For simple aggregations where we have to get grouping key and aggregated results, we can use group by. If you want to get the raw data along with the aggregated results, then using group by is not possible or overly complicated. Using aggregate functions with OR clause not only simplifies the process of writing query but also better with respect to performance. Let us take an example of getting employee salary percentage when compared to department salary expense. First let's preview the data, then we will come up with the solution using group by approach, then we will actually get into uh, using aggregations with windowing functions where we will be using OR clause and we should be able to compare the approach using uh, traditional group by as well as aggregation functions within uh, window functions and then we should be able to see the difference about the implementation aspect of it. Now let me connect to IT vast HR database. Let us project the data. We are interested only in employee ID, department ID and salary. I am just sorting the data by department ID and salary so that we see all the related data together and it will be easier for us to compare. Now I can see 10 records here. If I take the example of department ID 20, there are two employees, employee ID 202 and employee ID 201. Each one is making 6,000 and 13,000 respectively. If I want to get the percentage of uh, employee ID 202 salary when comparison with uh, department 20 salary expense, I have to divide this 6,000 with 19,000 which is nothing but sum of these two values and then I should be able to get the percentage of uh, employee ID's salary in comparison with de department wise salary expense. Let's see how we can come up with the solution using group by approach. First, we have to get the aggregated results for each department. You can see here for each department ID, we are getting the total salary expense. You can see 19,000 for department ID 20, 4,400 for department ID 10, 24,900 for department ID 30, so and so forth. Now, to get the percentage of each individual salary when comparison with their respect to department wise salary expense. Using uh, these results, we have to join this with our original data set which is nothing but employees. You can see here, I am saying select whatever columns we want from these two data sets. From employees E, join. As part of the join, I am passing the query which is developed here. On top of sum, I am also using average here, that's why you have additional column. And then uh, on uh, e.department id equal to ae.department id, order by department id. This will give us the details with respect to each and every individual salary along with the department wise salary expense. We will be seeing the results shortly and then you will understand what I am talking about. Let me add one more column here which is nothing but salary. I want to sort the data first by department ID then by salary so that we can see the results for easier comparison. Now if I talk about department ID 20, there are two employees which we have seen earlier the employees are making 6,000 6, and 13,000 respectively. We are also seeing the department wise salary expense for each and every employee's salary and also we are seeing average salary expense. Now if I want to see if an employee is making above the average salary within the department or below the average salary within the department, I can compare this value with this value and I should be able to get the result. Also, if I want to get the percentage of individual salary comparison with the department wise salary expense, I can just divide the individual salary with the department salary expense here and I should be able to get the results. So this will actually solve the problem which we are looking for. However, if you look at the solution, it is a bit complicated. We need to have self-join between employees and these pre-aggregated results, then only we will be able to come up with the solution. If we use analytics functions, the query will look like this. We don't need to perform the join, that's where the performance advantage will be there. And also when it comes to the readability of the query, this is much better compared to this one. And you can actually run this query to get the individual salary along with the department wise salary expense. When it comes to the syntax, you just have to use whatever aggregate functions you want to use such as sum, min, max, average, count. When it comes to count, you don't need to specify any particular field, you can specify any field. When it comes to sum, min, max, average, you have to specify the field on which you are trying to get the aggregated results. Then you can say over, as part of the brackets, you can specify the partition by with the partition key. In this case, we are trying to group the data by department ID to get department wise salary that's why I am using uh, department ID here and you can see Elias here as department salary expense and you should be able to see the results. Now if I want to get average as well I just have to change this 
by adding the average as well. So let me take care of it real quick. I can copy paste this. Then I can say average and I can say average salary expense. Similarly, we can get even min and max uh, if you are interested. So there is no comma here. That's why it is not working. Let me run this and you should be able to see both uh, department wise salary expense as well as average salary expense. While it is running, we can also include min and max. I have copied and pasted the average twice here. Now I'm cleaning it up. Then we can say min and max here. And then we can say min salary expense and max salary expense. We have to use comma here. And we should be able to get even min and max from each department. Also we can include count. Count is also an aggregate function which can be leveraged using this approach. If you want to include count, you can say count here and then comma and then you can say CNT. As it is taking too much of uh, real estate to display here, I'm just saying some sale expense, then average sale expense, then min sale expense, max sale expense, then count sale expense. Now you should be able to see the results. So this is how you should be able to leverage the aggregation functions within windowing functions to solve complex problems such as comparing individual records with the aggregated records based on the key. Now we'll be using something called as daily revenue and daily product revenue as part of the subsequent topics. In this case, I'll be using aggregate functions and I want to pre-create couple of tables, daily revenue and daily product revenue with whatever fields we want so that the subsequent topics are covered with ease. So let us create a couple of tables which will be used for demonstrations of windowing and ranking functions down the line. We have orders and order items tables already in uh, ITVersity underscore retail database. We have to connect to that database. Then if we have the daily revenue and daily product revenue tables, we'll be dropping them. Then we'll take care of computing daily revenue as well as daily product revenue as we'll be using the same data set several times. Let us create those tables. Daily revenue will have order date and revenue where data is aggregated using order date as partition key. Daily product revenue will have order date, order item product ID and revenue. In this case, data is aggregated using order date and order item product ID as partition keys. Now let's connect to the database here. Let me drop the table daily revenue if it exists. It doesn't exist, that's why it failed. If you don't want it to be failed, you can just say if exists here then it will not fail. It will just ignore if the table doesn't exist. Then I can run this query, which will take care of uh, creating the table daily revenue, where we'll be getting date along with the revenue. You can see here, we are getting date and revenue. As uh, some might get too many decimals as part of the revenue for each day, I'm just rounding off to two decimals by using round here. That, that is the purpose of it. Here, date is available under orders. Order item subtotal is available under order items. As we have to get data from two different tables, we have to perform join. And also we are interested only in complete or closed orders. That's why we have this where condition as well. Now this will take care of creating the table daily revenue with two fields, order date and revenue. Similarly, we'll be creating a table called as daily product revenue as well. However, this will contain order date, order item product ID and aggregated revenue for each date and product ID. Let's connect it to ITVerst Retail here. Let's drop the table daily product revenue if it exists. Then let's run this to actually create the table. It's better to validate as well. First, I'll be validating the daily revenue. So I'm saying percentage percentage SQL. Select star from daily revenue order by order date limit 10. Let me run this. I'll be running the same query on top of daily product revenue as well or similar query. In this case, I just have to say product revenue on top of order date. I also want to sort the data by order item product ID. You can see the results with respect to daily revenue here. For each date, we are getting total revenue. Now it will be for each date for each product. 
you can see the results here. As we have uh, explored the aggregate functions within window functions and also as we have created tables such as daily revenue and daily product re revenue, let's get into the other aspects uh, within windowing functions such as lead, lag, first and last from windowing functions within window func windowing functions. So windowing functions have a category called as window functions which contain lead, lag, first value, last value, etc. So we'll explore those things first, then we will talk about ranking functions.